Hey guys, this is Peter, and recently I told you that I upgraded my, well, TV tuner DVR to a four tuner DVR, and I chose one from Tableau. Tableau makes one, and there it is. It's a DVR for over the air or terrestrial signals, and it allows you to record things. And a lot of comments came out of that, so I wanted to address some of those. Yes, there are other solutions on the market. I've owned them all. This one is called Home Run. It's from Silicon Dust, and yeah, it's a decent product as well. Uh, and a lot of people chimed in and said, hey, you know, there's other ones out there. By the way, I've had Hop Hog as well. I started out with that. When we had Windows Media Center, this one was the bomb. In fact, that's a Windows Media Center remote, which has got to be, what, 2009? I mean, that's a kind of old technology. However, the tuner was very good quality. But let me tell you why I like Tableau nowadays. And that's one of the ways uh, is because the way it presents things and the fact that it is a separate dedicated device. So the four tuners, uh, you put one of these in your house, you connect it to one antenna and connect it to your network. And now any TV, any tablet, any PC in your home can watch one of those tuners. Now you are limited and that's one of the reasons we got four tuners is when I had two tuners before, I wanted to watch TV and I couldn't because, well, the two tuners were already in use recording things. So now I can really grab one. Uh, and what it does allow you to do is just get what's free over the air and make recordings of it. There is a fee for this. So it is like $6.99 a month, but I pay for it because it gives me this kind of experience and allows me to record all sorts of things. Let me just show you what's out there. And I want to talk about a few things. A few people chimed in and said, don't buy anything right now. Wait till ATSC 3.0 comes out. And I got to say, that's not a great idea. <laughs> ATSC 3.0 is a new spec, and yes, it should be rolling out soon. In fact, it's already started in some ways, but they don't have to give you anything for free. What's their motivation to give it to you for free? My local channels like Channel 7 and Channel 2, both decent channels, they uh, make money from, well, the relationships with cable companies like Comcast, like DirecTV, like Google TV, like Fubo, and like Hulu TV. They're all changing checks all the time. Now, the cable companies like having the local channels and have to pay them something. So that came out to a congressional thing, and they said, well, there's all sorts of relationships now because the local channels like having a larger reach because it gives them more advertisers. So there is a lot of mixed dealings, but no one wants to give you anything for free. Let's make that clear. They have a FCC old ruling saying if you use the terrestrial waves to broadcast things, you have to provide it free to the people. They don't say how well you have to provide it. They're not going to up you to 4K. And take a look at this. I've been finding some articles out there. Finally, ATSC 3.0 is coming to the Bay Area. And they're saying that Cron, owned by Nexstar and Sinclair, is working with BitPath on a consortium to monetize ATSC 3.0. There is a new feature of ATSC 3.0 that isn't so great. And one of them is encryption. They can actually encrypt these things. And take a look. Comcast is starting to encrypt its ATSC 3.0 stuff that on theirs to make sure you have equipment that they like. And I see the stations doing that too. I think that's going to be the thing. No one's going to spend money to give you a better picture to allow them to make less money. It's just common sense. Uh, so um, let me just show you the reality of the whole situation right now. Here is my, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, a huge major metropolitan area. People have, like from other countries and stuff have heard of us. <laughs> so anyway, here's what we're dealing with. 720p, 480, 480, 480, 480, 720, 7, 480. Oh, there's a 1080. I don't think a lot of people are going to be jumping to 4K to give you better uh, right away. So they've even talked about this happening in the LA markets already, and they're already encrypting it. Why? Because they can. So they can have their larger market, they can have their better picture, and they can make you pay for it. So if they're able to control what equipment you're using, they're able to control your ecosystem and you won't be able to get a TV tuner like this. There's no reason to put this off. Go get one of these. I'll put a link to the box itself. I happen to like this one. I'm going to show you why. Uh, let me just dive into that really quick. Here's all my recordings. It presents it to me like Netflix with a bunch of tiles. I can see from the couch what I've got. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock. I love this. I didn't even know it was on TV. Why? Because it's on at one o'clock in the morning, but it records it for me and I can watch it on my time. 
That's the way we do things nowadays. We time shift everything. Can you still watch live TV? Yes, you can. In fact, if I go to live TV, I think there's a baseball game on right now. There it is. It's going to look beautiful. If you like channel surfing, the old way of watching TV where you lay back in the couch with the remote and you go from channel to channel, it's not so great. There is a big lag every time you change channels. Uh, but uh, you can, of course, watch something. If I wanted to watch the baseball game, kind of hoping it's on a commercial right now. Empire. Perfect. Loop Net, it's on a commercial, but you can see I get a great a picture. And uh, it, it does look absolutely beautiful. I don't know what's wrong with that commercial right now. But it is a, a beautiful picture. You can enjoy the game. You can watch all of that stuff. And it will kind of record all this stuff for you. It's fantastic. I like this one a lot. Uh, but someone else challenged me and said, I really like the HD Home Run because you can put it on your network attached storage drive and you can have it forever. Well, I can have this stuff forever too. Let me show you that. I'm going to go to make my recordings. And if I wanted to watch this version of The Family Guy, let's see, season 12. And if I wanted to watch uh, Christmas Guy. Yeah, if I really like this one, I can choose to protect it. Look, I put a little lock on it. It's going to delete everything else first. It's not going to ever delete this. It is now protected. But if you said, I want to be able to take it off and put it on my NAS drive so I can have it forever, you can still do that. Hey, that brings me uh, to my one of my favorite programs of all times. I've talked about this one at nauseum, but it's called All Dials, uh, All Dials 2023. And I'm going to bring that up for you right now. This is a great program. It records all sorts of things. Here, let me bring this over here. New recording. Okay, here it is. Audiles 1 for 2023. It records music, video, and uh, the reason I discovered it was for radio. If you're an expat and you're from Iran or you're from China or you're from India or you're from France, you can find news, talk, radio, music, and you can record it. You can even now time shift it. It's fantastic. Uh, but what we're going to do now is take a look at video streams. You can record all sorts of video streams, but what we're going to do now is screen record. This is one of my favorite things when I'm on a large Zoom call and I want to take notes and I'm not the moderator. You normally can't record it. Let's run this program, give it a click. Now, it's proper etiquette to let people know you're recording it, but you can say it really early in the call and no one will notice. <laughs> there we go. Direct video recording. I'm going to go from my web browser and that being Chrome because I'm running this whole program in Chrome. It's going to restart everything. Now you can see this little extra window on top. It's going to record anything I play from within Chrome. It's going to see it and start recording it. So, of course, I could do a Zoom call right now. But what I'm going to do is record a version of Family Guy. Now, if you're from Google and you're looking over this video saying, hey, this guy might be doing something that's against our laws. No. This is a, a over-the-air broadcast that has been recorded totally legally. And now I'm going to make a recording of that recording. Again, totally legally. I received it with an antenna that's on my property. So according to FCC, I'm allowed to make these digital recordings. Now I'm making a digital recording of a digital recording. But that shouldn't confuse you at all. This is still totally legal. Okay. Now, playing it too much on, on, on air would... Be bad so <laughs> here Christmas guy let's do this one as I click this button it's gonna start playing it and I'm gonna start recording it automatically I'm gonna do one click no hands potentially worth it's finding it viewer discretion there is it advised is. it's recording in 1920 by we're not entertained by that song at all but I'm gonna stop this too and now I've just made a recording of that recording there it is. Is that one the top one or the bottom one? I think that might be the bottom one. Let's take a look. Potentially worth. That looks like it. Viewer discretion is advised. As you can see, I've now made a recording today. of the recording. Potentially. All right, now I want to show you how you can take it even to the next level. Here, here's uh, one that I made this a little bit longer. What I want to do is click this pencil icon because now it'll bring it up and I can actually edit this. So again, this is totally legal. I remade a recording. All I'm doing is you could have done this from the old days with two tape decks or whatever. I'm going to make this better here. I'm going to, let's see, I guess I'm going to zoom in a bit. 
Zoom, 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 zoom. Now I'm going to back this up. Helps, you know, someone's going to say, I tried running this on a Chromebook and it didn't work very well. Yeah, this is, this is doing some serious video processing here. Here we go. Here's where the video starts. Do, do, do. I'm going to say it starts right about there. Put a little marker there and I'm going to hit cut. And now I can put another marker and stretch it all the way back. There we go. Stretch this all the way back to the beginning and stretch this up forward to there. All right, about that looks good. I've got the piano entrance. And now when I hit apply, I just deleted this. So keep overwrite the current file. It's going to write it. And now I'm going to have a copy without that particular commercial break in it. And all I need to do is keep going and keep editing it and go to the next commercial break and find out where that one is and yank that one out too. Then I'll have a perfect copy that I can put on my NAS drive and keep forever. Well, there you go. That's how you can make a copy of your copy. And it's all legal. You made a copy of something you received over the air. And now we made a copy of the copy and we made it even better. Uh, I'll put a link to both Odd Isles. Uh, one, it's a great program. And to uh, the TV Tuner. Helps me out if you follow those links. And hey, if not, please give this thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider doing so. We'll catch you in the next one. Hey, see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.